Is this dude like sprout horns at some point or something? I just can't help but notice he has like. To make a nuclear strike, to stop. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing all right tonight. It's been a little while. It's been, what, a little over a week since we've played uh, any Metal Gear Solid? I guess two weeks. This would be two weeks because we skipped last week. So, yeah, dude. I'm fucking ready to get back into it. I uh, I think I said last time, I don't remember, that I, I beat the original Metal Gear while I was you know, off stream, just doing whatever. I actually ended up having a lot of fun with it. We also just loaded the wrong save, so GG does. Um, anyways, and I want to play... So, there's two number twos, right? There's <laughs> the the actual canon number two, and then there's the American number two. I don't have the actual canon number two yet, um, but I do have the... Can we restart the game? Like, with start select now? Okay. Uh, but I do have the American number two. So, I may end up playing that soon. I was hoping to get... Uh, no, I don't need a resume point. I have the memory card. Um, I was hoping to get the Metal Gear Solid 3... What's it called? Substance or something like that? Because uh, it has the original MSX versions emulated on it. Um, and I got really excited because I picked up a bunch of PS2 games and one of the ones on a list, the guy had a list of like slightly more expensive stuff that he had that he didn't have out with everything else. And Metal Gear Solid 3 was listed on there twice. So I was like, dope, maybe, you know, one's the regular copy, one's Substance or something like that. No, they were both just the regular copy, <laughs> which, I mean, I ended up picking up anyway so that I would have it. Um, because I mean, come on, why wouldn't you, you know? And... Um, so yeah, so I got it. I'm excited to, to give it a play one of these days, but at the same time, I was hoping for, for substance just because for anyone who doesn't know substance just has, um, like a slightly better camera instead of like the top down, it's more first person oriented. I believe I haven't actually played, so I'm just going off of what I've read. And then it has bonus content included, including, um, the, the first two Metal Gear games, Canon Metal Gear games. The terrorists have started preparing to launch a new type of nuclear warhead. To stop that, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up north or destroy Metal Gear itself. After outlasting Ocelot's torture, Snake escapes from the cell with the help of the ninja. However, Merrill, taken as the other hostage, cannot be found. Snake makes a detour around the glaciers and heads for the communication tower to enter the underground maintenance base. And if I remember correctly, we ended last time on our way back, like three quarters of the way back to the communications tower... And we have the bandana now. Um, so presumably, we can... Or handkerchief, I guess it was. Uh, which presumably will allow us to pass by these dogs without them all trying to murder us. So that's, that's the hope, at least, right? Because <laughs> these dogs, honestly, are a bit of a pain in the ass. How do we change gear again? Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip the gun just in case, but fingers crossed we don't need it. I guess this is also a decent time to, to do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, see, it's got little hearts, man. Uh, one downside, I guess, is we probably can't equip the um, night vision goggles while we have the handkerchief equipped. So we're kind of kind of flying blind here, which sucks. But if we just keep following all these walls, we should be able to find our way out of here eventually. I mean, I vaguely remember where the way out is anyways, right? It's like over here and down to the right or something like that. But I was just hoping to see if there's any secrets or anything that we missed. Of course, if there is, it's probably a crawl space. And uh, yeah, we're definitely not <laughs> going to see any crawl spaces right now. I mean, I guess if we crawl along the wall, that'd be one way to do it. Holy hell, I can't... Wait, did we come out the other side, or are we... I think we just turned around. Hold on. <laughs> I think we went through backwards. Okay, we're gonna have to equip the, <laughs> the night vision goggles. I can't see anything, bro. Okay, yeah, I think this is the way we want to go. 
There we go. <laughs> that was that was just a little bit dark, man. Alright, get our ass up. Uh, we don't need any rations. Excellent. One of the wonderful things about the Nintendo, and I believe the MSX version works in a similar way. Uh, those dogs do not sound happy. Versions of Metal Gear. You can just get like an unlimited amount of items. You can still only carry so much at one time. But if you reload the room um, on the original Nintendo version, you can just open your transceiver to reload the room. Uh, or on the MSX version, you just leave and come back. It just respawns whatever items were in the room. So it actually made the game fairly easy because you could just pick up rations continuously, basically, until you had a full inventory of them, which made you know most of the, the boss fights and things trivial, honestly. <laughs> It was more like just figuring out what the hell you needed to do was the the challenge. Why do I feel like we're gonna end up having to fight her? Like <laughs> Snake. About Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake. She's a soldier. He dead. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. You're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl, she's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. <laughs> she's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. I feel like that was just interrogating everybody. Like, the way Master was just like, when was this and where? Thought you didn't have any family. Like, <laughs> dude doesn't trust Naomi much, does he? Does the, does the Master turn on us at some point? I feel like I've seen a clip in some game where a dude that looks suspiciously like Master, um, oh shit. 
there's a thing there. Uh, <laughs> a turret. Uh, we got shot. Do you blame him? No, not at all. All things considered, yeah. I guess it is understandable, but still a little awkward. <laughs> Okay, so I think we have the key card to get through this door now, if I remember correctly. But, is there any, any goodies up here for us to collect? I see some blood. I'm assuming that's from our fight with Sniper Wolf or whatever the hell her name was. Just some ammo. Through the door we go. One of the really annoying things about Metal Gear, though, the original one, is your key cards didn't get upgraded each time you collected a new one you actually had to keep a hold of you know eight different key cards and then just remember uh what door went to or which key card went to what door that was a massive pain in the ass it's a little dark in here isn't it haven't they ever heard of freaking lights man oh good there's a camera uh, <laughs> are we meant to run or fight? Uh, I think we're meant to die. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Hold on, hold on, shit. Let me get the freaking rations out. <laughs> Wait, is there anywhere for us to go? I don't think there's anywhere for us to go. I don't remember how to shoot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, triangle. Nope, that's first person. Square. It's square. Goddamn. We're gonna die here. <laughs> oh, there are a set of stairs. Holy hell. Okay. Just ignore these dudes then. Now get off the wall, snake. I would kill for some thumbsticks right about now. Oh, you know what? I know what section this is actually. Uh, because there was a, a, a skip found for the speed run relatively recently on accident by some streamer. Oh, God. Get off the thing. Because uh, there's a door up here somewhere. It might have been that one right there. And if you... If that was a door. If you go into it just right and they shoot you, you can just glitch right through it and hit the, the load trigger for the next section. No, I guess that's not a door. Get off the thing. Oh my god, dude. We are taking so many hits. This is insane. Now, I'm assuming there's no point in, like... Nah, I, I, I'm not... How to use four rations? Yeah. That's fine. We're going to do it again. I was just trying to see if I could glitch into it. I forget exactly how it works. Uh, there's a setup to get it consistently. It has something to do with, like, running straight for it. Um, and then once you get stuck in the corner holding the aim button. But I think they said the auto-aim. And I thought, does this one have auto-aim? Maybe it's, like, a PC-only thing or something? I don't know. Unrelated to your D&D &D tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there like, is there a better way to get through that? Or is it basically always just lose all the rations? Like, because <laughs> if we shoot them, does it even do anything? Hey, Psycho, what's up, man? Because like normally whenever you're in high alert like this, things just keep respawning, right? So is there even any point? I guess just running without messing up. <laughs> would be helpful. There we go. There we go. See, I could try the skip again, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste time with that. Plus, I want to actually see all the content. So, yeah, you just like run into the corner of that door right there, the left-hand corner, and then you aim at the the guys as they're walking up the ladder. Um, using the auto aim or something and it sets up a, a skip that just because whenever you get hit in this game I guess your your hitbox expands just a just a little bit and in the in the process it hits the the load trigger for the next section 
Haven't caught one of the streams in a while. Well, I was also on vacation for like a week, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> Can't wait for three. There's so much broken stuff in that game. Shit with mesh they won't found, find unless you specifically look for it. That's crazy, man. I remember in the video that I was watching, they were talking about this section being like one of the hardest sections in the game as well. Like, the, the streamer that accidentally found the skip, apparently, she, uh, had to, she was, like, replayed this section, like, 15 times or something, was getting super frustrated with it, because she just couldn't freaking get through it, and then out of nowhere, she accidentally found that skip, and that's what allowed her to, oh my god, get off the walls, that's what allowed her to actually continue through it. Oh my god, dude. How high up does this thing go? <laughs> like, holy hell. My thumb honestly kind of hurts from, from trying to hold those buttons down. So, okay, I guess we're going to have to try and actually fight back. <laughs> Metal Fear Liquid. <laughs> what the hell? Because if we don't, like... Bruh, we're just gonna we're just gonna freaking die. Maybe what kind of weapons do we have? I guess we could maybe like throw a stun grenade every once in a while. Um, do I have? I guess I don't have any stun grenades. I have regular ones. I mean, we could like throw down some C4 or something, but that doesn't sound like the world's <laughs> best idea. Uh, I guess we'll just grab the Famas and then just. I don't know, try and fight back? Wonder if it's possible to like, can you walk in this room? Oh wait, we grabbed some stun grenades right there. Perfect. Get off the wall, snake. Also, grab the rations. We're definitely gonna want the rations. The rations. Perfect. This is working much better. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of stun grenades before, man. I mean, we still got a long staircase to climb. I guess there's <laughs> there's still time for it to get messed up, but... Oh, my God. Stun, please. Thank you. Okay, we only have one more. Hopefully there's there's more to be picked up around here somewhere. That dude just like strong arm me or something? <laughs> like stiff arm me, I mean. Oh my god. On the plus side though, we're we're like halfway up as high as we were before and haven't used a single ration yet, so that's a good sign. I should have ate a ration right there. And uh and then picked up the one that was on the ground. I really wish we had more stun grenades. Maybe we should have saved the stun grenades until we got higher up. Whenever there's more people shooting at us. Do I know the secret between Big Boss and Snake? Uh, I know that Big Boss used to be Snake's boss. Because I beat the first Metal Gear game. Um, I have no idea if that's what you're talking about, though. And if it's not what you're talking about, I don't want to know it. <laughs> Oh my god, come on, man. We gotta be getting close to the top, right? Please? Game? I can't believe none of the pickups were stun grenades. Just FAMAS bullets and shit. Like, I don't I don't want none of that. <laughs> I just, I just want to stop getting shot. Oh my god, get off the wall, snake. Snake! <laughs> Get off the damn wall, dude. Uh, hey, another bed. Oh my god, we're gonna get fucked. Get up. Up. Nope. We're screwed. We're so screwed. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, so save... Save the stun grenades until we're a little bit higher up and there's more dudes chasing us down, maybe. And use some of the uh, rations a little bit earlier on. I think I think that's gonna have to be our uh, 
gonna have to be our strategy there. That section is tough, man. No joke. And since we know... No, okay, we don't need it right now. I was gonna say, since we know we're gonna pick up more rations, maybe it'd be a decent idea to, uh... Ow. To use one right away, but... Nah. I feel like having a uh, joystick would make this section a lot easier, too. Oh shit, we need to quickly change into the rations before we get ourselves killed. I wonder how this game would look with PGXP. What's that? Is that a, uh, like a emulator thing or something? Maybe an emulator plugin or something? I guess it would probably help too if we tried to, like, the guys that are just standing on the walkway, we could maybe, uh, we could maybe try to not run directly into them. How did I turn around there? <laughs> uh, kill them with your guns? Uh, normally, I'm assuming it's the same in this one. Normally, whenever you're in high alert, um, they keep respawning infinitely. So I, I feel like killing them isn't the, the best option. Oh, I used two stun grenades. That was dumb. Oh, well. Come on. Up. Can you get up faster? Like, does does wiggling the, the D-pad make you get up faster? Damn it. Sometimes it kind of feels like it does. Stun is a good call. I was hoping so, because I, I couldn't think of any other strategy other than trying that skip that that I uh, saw that video on. That's the only other strategy I can think of, and I'm not 100% positive how to even uh, how to even pull it off. <laughs> I know it's something to do with running into that door and aiming at the guards and basically just praying for the best. But one more stun grenade right now would be awesome. I'm really upset that I fucked that up and threw two. It was just taking so long to explode that I was thinking, oh my god, I must have, like, missed one or something, but... That's your, uh, alert percentage. The 99.99. So, like, if I was able to, uh, to hide right now, then... Oh my god. If I was able to hide, that would actually be going down. But since I'm not able to hide, it's, it's kind of stuck at where it's at. Oh my god, we gotta be so close, dude. Don't die here. Snake it off the damn wall. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I can't, I can't change. Dead. <laughs> okay. We know our strategy works, at least. So this time, don't screw up the stun grenade. And then, yeah, I think what Chocobo said with using a Claymore, maybe once we get to the top there or something, throw a Claymore down so that we can uh, get rid of some of them. Or maybe after we throw a Stun Grenade, throw down a Claymore. That way, uh, whenever they, you know, recoup and get back to the top or catch back up to us, they, they run into the Claymore. Just don't forget to turn around first, yeah. Oh, God. That's... Good start. Good start. I like it. <laughs> Just instantly <laughs> run out of the room and towards the guys trying to murder us. Good call, Snake. Good call. Get off the wall, Snake. Oh, my God. Off the wall, Snake. <laughs> I, sometimes I freaking hate him, dude. He's the worst. What makes you think this is a good time to go into stealth on a wall when dudes are behind you trying to murder you? Like, they can clearly see you, man. You're not tricking anybody there. <laughs> Alright, uh... Okay, the ration's coming up. I don't know exactly when, so let's go ahead and grab that. And then there are a few guys on us, so maybe we'll go ahead... Grab the stun grenade. Prepare to use that. Maybe now. 
Not while we're knocked down, though, preferably. Okay, get in front of this guy, grab the ration, and then... GG, hopefully. What's in the level 6 room? It's just a shortcut for later, but you have to unlock it from the uh, from the other side. It's Right now, it's actually locked from uh, from the side that we're on, so we can't go into it. Um... But like I said, there is a there is a speed run skip that lets you that lets you get through it early. The only problem is I don't exactly know how to <laughs> how to do it. Oh good, there's another one. Hi. Yeah, see they seem to be more or less respawning. I guess maybe maybe like a well timed punch to the dudes that are on the stairwell might be a good idea, too. Of course, that would require me to execute a well-timed punch. <laughs> okay, I think it's about time for one last stun grenade. Especially because I'm pretty sure we're close to the top at this point. Where... stun. I'm so glad that the stun grenade works no matter how far away it actually goes. Because if it does didn't, dude, we would be <laughs> we'd be so screwed. Come on, come on, come on! Sit the. <laughs> <laughs> that, that claymore was just beautiful. <laughs> Come on, dude. Go up the ladder, snake. How do I use ladders again? How do I use ladders? <laughs> God. Holy hell, dude. Okay. We made it to the top. There may have been something else down there for us to grab. Like around that corner or something like that. But... Oh, I'm just glad we got out. Okay, we should actually save real quick, I think. Uh, memory. Who is it? May Mei Ling, I think, for the saving. Precision Graphics Pipeline is a custom graphics pipeline developed specifically for PS emula emulators and implemented in two of them. It prevents textures and 3D models from warping, like, and all. I got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I, I vaguely know what you're talking about because uh, the PS1 had a weird way of handling textures, right? So, you'll notice specifically in PS1 games, like, it's really bad in Tomb Raider, for instance, that, uh, they'll, they'll warp and kind of shimmer and stuff very often, which, I mean, isn't necessarily what you want. I know some games have their own custom handling for the texture so that that doesn't happen, but, uh, a lot don't, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I think it comes from the fact that instead of using triangles, the PS1 used squares or something like that, if I remember correctly. It's, I remember watching a video on kind of how things worked on the PS1 once upon a time, and that's, uh, that's where I'm attempting to pull this knowledge from. <laughs> but it's been quite a while <laughs> since I've seen it, so I may be uh, misremembering some details. And before I get blown up on my own <laughs> claymore that I sat down here. I'm assuming the claymore would uh, disappear. Oh, it's another ration. Dope. Um, which should we use now? Yes. Yes, we should. And I guess grab the level 6 card. There we go. Back up we go. They also had a tendency to warp their vertices. Gotcha. Yeah, I, uh, it would probably look pretty decent with it. That and some anti-aliasing. Because, I mean, there's not a ton of detail in a lot of the models and things, but this game obviously looks better than some other PS1 games. Um, I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> like, I freaking love FF7, dude, for the PS1, but at the same time, it's it's pretty rough in spots. <laughs> the pre-rendered backgrounds look good, but the models are just kind of rough. Especially the uh, the overworld models for the party. Oh, boy. <laughs> they were something, let me tell you. 
Final Fantasy VIII, too, to some degree. Like, it's not as bad, but it's also pretty rough in a lot of points. Thank God we got our radar back, so we can actually have some idea of what uh <laughs> what's coming for us. Uh oh, yep, I know what's going on here. Again, from that speedrun uh, trick video that I watched, they mentioned that there's a long segment with a helicopter that gets skipped as well. And I'm assuming it's the helicopter that just blew this shit up. Damn. Snake! <laughs> Snake! I feel like this is GG for us, boys. <laughs> uh, basically looks like a PC game of the era. Grand Turismo 2 looks stunning with PGXP. You'll never play Klonoa without it ever again. Man, I want to play Klonoa one of these days. I've never actually uh, played it. I've heard a lot of good things, but yeah. I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. Fun fact, in the original MSX2 game, uh, Metal Gear game, we actually did take on a hind with our bare hands. They took it out of the NES port, but... Okay, so how does this section actually handle? I know that we have to, like, rappel down the building... I can't seem to move. Okay, I can't seem to do anything right now. There we go. Okay. S yes, please. Give me give me hints. <laughs> press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from the hind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. All right, dodge the guns, X to jump. Oh, and there's also the the steam vents here that we probably don't want to, yeah, <laughs> don't want to run into. That kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we're about to run right into that steam, dude. Yeah, this door right here, actually, if I'm not mistaken. This is the, the one that's on the other side of that thing. That that locked door. Um, but yeah. So if we come up to it now with the level 6 card, we should be able to unlock it somehow. Is this not the door? Maybe we have to, like, use explosives or something to unlock it? I'm not sure. There's some way to unlock it. I have no idea how it works, but there is a way to do it. Oh, thank God for <laughs> another ration. Although we got through... I feel like we got through the helicopter section without too much trouble. Maybe it's C4 to blow this open. I mean, they conveniently put some right there for us. And then level 6 card. Hey, look at that. Now, presumably, there won't be a bunch of enemies in here like there were before. I'm going to save just in case. But I know there's some more stuff at the bottom of this stairwell. So I kind of want to run down there and grab whatever the hell it is. Hopefully, it's something somewhat useful. Seriously, got to play Klonoa. I still recommend the PS1 version. Unfortunately, it would help the franchise if you invest in the remakes remasters. Oh. I had no idea. I didn't even know... 
that they remade Klonoa. So you're saying the the remaster's not all that good, sadly. <laughs> Obviously, helping out the developers is awesome and, and the franchise boosting the sales numbers, but the PS1 version's the better version. I wonder how much the remake slash remaster is right now. Because if it's not too much, I would just pick up both eventually. Because while it's not my main goal right now, um, eventually I would love to collect games for, for you know, the PS3, PS4, etc., etc. Not just the, the PS2. My actual long-term plan is to finish up the PS2 collection and then move backwards to the PS1 and then work forward from there just generation to generation. The only reason I wanted to start with the PS2 is because it was like my favorite console growing up. I have the most nostalgia for the PlayStation 2. So I started there and then, yeah. But uh, Kid Icarus, someone that I like to watch on YouTube every once in a while. I remember he did a video about Klonoa. Um, someone else too, I can't remember. I don't think it was Gerard the Completionist. I don't remember who it was, but I know I've watched someone else talk about it too and i've heard nothing but good things well i mean okay there are some small problems that they had mentioned but still you know 99 percent of what people have said is that it's a pretty damn good game actually so i do want to try it out for sure klonoa fantasy reverie came out 8th of july it's a bundle of klonoa 1 a remaster of the Wii remake and Klonoa 2, a remaster of the original PS2 game. Oh, okay. So, I mean, if it's even if it's full price, two games for uh, one isn't that bad. And a lot of times, remasters end up being a little bit cheaper. I don't know if it is in this case or not, but still. Wait. If that C4 just reset, I bet you the ration at the bottom of the staircase just reset too. I'm not going to run all the way back down to the bottom of that staircase again to <laughs> to try and we didn't have our rations equipped. <laughs> Hopefully there's a checkpoint once we uh, got back up the stairs and came outside here. <laughs> oh. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so do we have Yeah, okay, we have two rations. Good, good. Um, I'm assuming, like, using the box or anything like that is going to be pointless here. Because, like, the helicopter, no matter what, is going to see us running around, right? So I'm assuming the only thing we can do is just, just run and hope for the best. Oh, my lord. <laughs> if we can make any progress at all. I didn't even see the gunfire or hear the gunfire that time before it hit us. Okay, there we go. Just zigzag, zigzag. Oh, they're just dudes. I thought this was the helicopters. Well, in that case... Oh. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> uh. Come and get me, boys. Aw, oh, shit. Am I too far away for them to chase me down? Son of a bitch. Alright, so if that's the case, then I think we have some ammo for the sniper rifle. We'll just take them out from range. That was the PSG-1, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you today? Oh, God. Oh. I gotta admit, I was really hoping one shot would take you guys out. Are you like indestructible soldiers? There we go. Nope. Uh. No, they're still down there. I'm just blind. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they wisened up. <laughs> I don't know if I walked too far forward. If they walked forward, I have no idea what happened. They went from not shooting us at all to murdering us instantly. Still, that, I feel like that's still a decent plan. Just maybe equip the damn rations. And there we go. 
Grab the gun. All right, take some diazepam to make this a little bit easier on myself. It's kind of hard to see this far, but... Come on, there you go. Okay, uh... Oh my lord. They do not like you <laughs> shooting them with the sniper rifle, do they? Holy hell, man. They shoot quick and hard. Can I see them from here? I can. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of ammo. Are they dead? I think they're all dead. We're damn near dead, but you know what? <laughs> I feel like I'm saving way more than usual. Let's just save real quick. Be safe with it. No point in redoing that if we don't have to. Alright. Get the hell up, Snake. Uh, we have no rations at this point. Yeah, we really have... We have nothing. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Okay. Grab the SOCOM and just go for it. Why did we not get this camera angle before, man? This camera angle would have been really helpful for seeing those soldiers the first time we ran down here. Oh, good. It's the hind now. Are those rations? They are. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you know what? Eat the rations and then card. Get in. Stinger missile and the stinger launcher. Okay. Can we pick up the missiles now? Or yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, do we need to go back outside and take down the helicopter, or? grenades some bullets we're being jammed again which i don't appreciate so i just don't know like is it a good idea to go back out and try to take down the helicopter now or should we or should we just keep continuing forward huh I don't know which way we're supposed to go up or down, and I want to go the wrong way first. <laughs> I'm going to go over to that elevator and see if we can even do anything with it. If you happen to pick up the franchise, it does have quite a few entries. You'd say support the franchise by contributing to the sales. Bamco? <laughs> Is that Namco? Confirm that if these sell well, Klonoa 3 would pretty much be a given. That's sick, dude. Huh? Elevator a no-go? Elevator or no-go. Okay. Bandai Namco. Okay. That makes sense. I've never heard it called Bamco before, but makes sense. Yeah, like I said, I'll have to look into it, see how much it is either on, uh, I don't know, at, uh, if, I, if we sell it at one of our local stores. If not, then check it out online. I still really want to get a hold of the original, too, which I'll probably look up on maybe on the first break here in like 15 minutes i'll check it out look it up on price charting see what the the average price of it is um can we use the rope again i'm assuming the rope's gone yeah okay so the elevator's a no-go We can't go down here. So, do we have to go out and fight the the helicopter? We might. Which I'd really rather not if that's an option game cuz I'm pretty sure I'll get fucked. Not gonna lie. We have what zero rations. Only a tiny bit of health. 
Hopefully reloading that area outside will uh, give us another one. Going to try the elevator again just to see if maybe by going to the bottom it somehow triggered it. What? What? What is going on? Shoot. It's me. Don't shoot. Oh, hey. It's Scientist bro. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. I'm like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Spit it out now. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom? Even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, uh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. God, the dialogue. Stop down there. It's a little corny. I want a little cheesy. To to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. How's he gonna get down there, though? Didn't we already see that the staircase is broke? Anyways, um, <laughs> I did go ahead and look up the price for the original Klonoa 1 and 2. And yeah, you're not kidding, man. On PS1, just for just for a disc, the original PS1 game is going for like 185. The Klonoa 2 on PS2 is going for like 45. So that one's not too bad. Um, but holy hell, 185 just for the disc? That's crazy. Complete in box, 461. I think if I end up picking that one up, it's probably just going to be a loose disc copy because, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Uh, good chance I'll be picking up the original one for, or I'm sorry, the remakes first <laughs> to see if I even like the games before I uh, drop that kind of money on the PS1 one. If all goes to plan, the PS2 one I'm going to have to pick up either way, but yeah. It's not on, like, uh, the PlayStation Mini, is it? That's what I'm using to play this on, but I can't remember the actual list of the games that's on it. Because that would be what pretty sick. <laughs> Save again, please, Mei Ling. The proud man does not eat rotting meat even when hungry, nor steal water from another's well when he thirsts. But on the other hand, you were forced to steal or find every item you've got, so I guess I shouldn't say that. Thanks, Mei Ling. Are you saying I'm not a proud man? <laughs> Alright, um... I'm assuming we're going to need the stinger to take down the helicopter. Let's 
since that is, you know, what it gave us when we got here. It'd be really handy if I could just, like, sneak up on the helicopter somewhere and deal with it that way. But... I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the helicopter's just gonna spawn in any moment and wreck our shit. You have your original PlayStation One soft modded. Best you can do if you want to. If you don't want to support these scalpers. Yeah, that's that sucks, man. Like honestly, I'm I'm hoping the retro game market evens out here soon, because I I don't think it would be crazy to say that um. The prices have really exploded recently for no good reason, you know? They just have because they can, essentially. Which is shitty as hell. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I understand, like, some of these games are actually pretty rare. And so the, the price is, is somewhat justified. But the ones that are, like... I know for PS2, there's uh, a couple games that are, like, $600 or something like that. And it's just, like why man <laughs> like sure it might be rare but is it really that rare like i don't know i've mostly so far for the collection gotten games that are like under 20 and the average price for for ps2 games i feel like isn't all that bad either the average uh playstation 2 game price is sitting around like 12 dollars, if i remember correctly which isn't which isn't too bad i feel like but that's because you have a lot of sports titles for, you know, like, 3 to $5 or whatever. And then, on the other end, you have, like I said, those ones that are just absolutely ridiculous for hundreds of dollars. Which is just insane to me. But, oh well. I guess it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. The, the one thing that I do think is a legitimate scam, though, is the whole WADA thing. With their, uh, their game ratings and boosting prices to just ungodly amounts for things that are actually fairly common. But I, I don't know if they've gotten better, but I remember watching Carl Yops talk about it and uh, the way they would artificially inflate the prices on things by not releasing reports on how many copies there were of a given rating or whatever. And yeah. It's on the PSN store. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, in the meantime, <laughs> that's probably how I would play it then. That's, yeah. Because while I do want to collect all the games eventually, like I said, PS1's not at the top of my to-do list right now. Um, so for now, I'd rather just have the chance to play the game. So if it's on the PSN store, then yeah, there we go. Is that a uh, PS3, PSP, or can you get it on PS4, PS5 as well? Because I know there were some... A fair few, actually. Uh, PS1 and... Two. Are there PS2 games? Maybe just PS1 games that you could only get on, like, the PS3 and PSP. I still have those consoles sitting over here next to me, actually, so... Not a problem, but of course it's only available on PS3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Like I said, that's not that big of a deal, though. I can uh, plug in my PS3 and grab it, or my PSP, because the PlayStation 1 classics that were available on PS3 were also on PSP. I don't actually know if we're doing the right thing here, but I'm assuming since he wasn't on the, the rooftop that we were just at, that we got to go back to this rooftop to fight the helicopter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we have to go to fight this damn helicopter. If he's not out here, I guess we'll give uh, the colonel a call. Maybe he can give us a hint. Maybe this is that hint. Liquid is still hovering around the roof of Tower B. He's waiting for you. Snake, it's time for you to take him on. Let's go. Uh, Should we save? Maybe. Where's the door? Hello? Do I have to blow it up? To get out there? Or is he just telling me to go back? Is this tower A and he's telling us to go back to the other one? 
Because, I mean, I was chilling outside the other one, and he didn't show up. So, I, I assumed we had to go somewhere else. Son of a bitch. Okay, guess we have to go back to the other one. Well, <laughs> bit of backtracking. You can download directly from servers. I I have no idea <laughs> how that works. I didn't even know that was a thing. The uh, PlayStation 3 store, I'm pretty sure, is still up and running, though, right? And presumably, doing it that way, um, buying it the original copy through PSN, the, the developers would get a little bit of a kickback from it as well. Because I remember they were talking something about, I think it was earlier this year, uh, they were talking about shutting down the PlayStation 3 and PSP stores, but then all the backlash that happened, they decided to keep it up and running for, for the time being. I mean, they're going to have to shut it down eventually. It's the same for anything. Like, I have a huge Steam library, but at, at in the back of my mind, there's always a part of me that's like, sooner or later, Steam is going to go away, and all of this shit is just going to be gone, which sucks. <laughs> like, hopefully, it's not something I see in my lifetime, but it's still, man. That's why I prefer physical media to digital media. I like actually owning my stuff. Not just having, you know, a, uh, a license to download. <laughs> just buy a laser disc. <laughs> oh. Truly the best way to watch movies, man. Good old laser disc. Yeah, I still don't see this guy. Call the Colonel again. Or Campbell, that's his name. It looks like Liquid really wants to have a showdown with you. I'm looking at Mailing's digitally enhanced satellite images right now. Snake, he's waiting for you. He's just circling around like a buzzard. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Sorry, Snake. Wish I could do something to help. Snake, I don't like it. Please don't go up to the roof. I have to. I can't run from this one. Okay, so does this not count as the roof? I'm assuming not. But I couldn't get to the roof of this one, right? Unless, did he like instantly... Maybe... Maybe uh, Oc Ocelot, Oc Oc Octagon, whatever the hell his name was. Maybe he instantly fixed the... The elevator and we can go up now? No. Oh, <laughs> there were boxes here preventing us from going up before, so I didn't even think to try and just go up the damn stairs. Well, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I really can't afford to be taking this extra damage, dude. We have no health packs. We're so screwed. People are currently archiving the whole store. That's awesome. The, the efforts that people take in the retro community to archive all these things, to keep record of them, is just honestly amazing to me. Um, if we die here, we're probably going to have to use chaff. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think we're... <laughs> unless there's a couple rations at the top of this stairwell, I think we're screwed, man. Yeah, we're dead. Um... Do boxes work? <laughs> I don't know if box, boxes work for those types of uh, cameras or not. I guess it's another thing to, to attempt. Or just a box. <laughs> Nothing suspicious here. <laughs> okay, so I think it was, what, this one where we first got... Yeah, no, they see us. Boxes do not work. Um, okay, so it's every, what, one, 
to... So it's the top of this next one, I think. Let's grab the key card, and then I guess we'll just start throwing some... Oh, good. We only have one chaff grenade. Can we shoot them? Maybe we can shoot them and stop them from shooting us? <laughs> I'm honestly kind of surprised that there's not like a, a cache of chaff grenades here somewhere for us. Okay, so that's gone. Yeah, there's three cameras up there. And I can't first person aim, right? Yeah, no, that doesn't exist in this game. I can't even aim up and down with this, so... I guess the only option is, yeah, the the sniper. Okay. Uh, get up. <laughs> Turn around first. I really wish... Can we use night vision while we're... In here, we can. Oh god, can we not aim up that high? Maybe if we start getting on the, the staircase so we're kind of aiming up. Oh no, we can't aim that high. It won't let me aim any higher even though I'm on the staircase already like aiming upwards. Oh god, dude. I don't know how to... Oh shit, I just realized an ad is running. I wasn't paying enough attention to the ad manager. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, guys. That way anyone without ad block or not subscribed isn't missing any gameplay. It's also a great way or time for me to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that stuff. So I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. Throw regular grenades. That's an excellent idea. I'll give that a try whenever we come back. But yeah, BRB. Be like a wart or what, but he had something like perfectly one on each side of his head it looked like there please feel free to use this hut if you have any questions please ask my daughter uh minazu also please let me know if you need to rest would you like to save your game well sure why not checking the memory card we'll just overwrite that one i don't think we're gonna need to go back for any reason Please be sure to take the contents of the box in the hallway before you head out. I shall wait here. Please take time to understand the things I've told you. Cool. Okay, so we can open the box. We've got Essence of uh, Amahaganet. Crystallized form of the power. Collect three to unlock their power. Health, attack power, or defense power can be increased by using the accumulated Essence in the status screen. Excuse me. Essence is normally invisible, but if you generate Tamuai in an area where the Amahagane resonates strongly, it will appear. Very cool. Okay. Is there uh, anything else around this house here? I like these old Japanese uh, architecture, man. It just looks so cool. It's very unique. Um, okay, so this thing is pulsing now. So I'm guessing this is an area that it's resonating in, kind of like it was telling us. So if I press L1 here... Oh, no, I can't press L1 here. I can't do anything here. Ah, uh, man, I feel like... Oh, wait. Circle? So I must run deep. There's wind blowing up from below. Where might that be coming from? I feel like we... Oh. Hey, we got some essence. Very cool. So I, I don't know how we got the essence exactly. If it was just from standing in it for a certain period of time. Or if it was from examining that. I don't know. I thought we had to use our special ability to get it to work. But no, I guess not. Alright, so we can talk to you, I'm guessing? I think his name is Otohiko. I sent something mysterious about him. Didn't it say something about us being able to talk to your daughter? Oh, uh, there she is. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Minazu. My father has told me much about you. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions about the Heishi or Kyoto. Uh, what would you like to know about? That is a lot of questions. What does the level up do? Uh, we'll gradually strengthen by fighting the Heishi and accumulating experience points. When a certain amount of experience points is earned, you will level up, increasing your health, attack power, and defense power. 
can earn an additional experience point by hitting enemies multiple times in succession or successfully performing Kamu. Kamui? Kamui? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I am back, everyone. Uh, okay, let's get back into the game. Um, and actually, I do know of our archive.org. Um, it's a really cool project. It's what, America's, I believe, America's only legal online library, um, which is how they get around the uh like copyright issues and whatnot that that rom sites usually have but at the same time it's a little iffy it, like actually downloading anything from there is still a little bit iffy at best so like i've never actually downloaded anything from there but i do know of it at least Hmm. Okay, regular grenades don't seem to reach. So none of that. <laughs> uh, we can't aim up or down with the so common FAMAS. I guess we can try this again. Oh, I looked so good there for a second, man. Like we were aimed up really high for a moment and then nothing. guess the only thing we can do is just... Nope. I was going to say crawl and hope for the best, but... <laughs> That's obviously not working either. Uh... <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. Um... I mean, we could use... We have the stinger missiles, right? Like, those would probably let us aim up. But I'm... Okay, well, we can't use them anyways. Or the Nikita. Alright, <sighs> well, get back up. Um, maybe some... Something would have happened down here? <laughs> like, maybe Octagon fixed the the staircase i'm at a loss dude i don't know i don't know how to get through this closely following all the currently active decompilation projects and pc ports yeah those are really cool too the only one i've uh i've actually seen in action so far is the the super mario 64 one which is really cool um but i know there's also ocarina of time is a thing and uh Majora's Mask is, is being worked on as well, but that one's not completed yet. And then, uh, what was it, Jack and Daxter that they, that, that's either like finished or in beta, one or the other, is another really cool one. That's another really neat thing, because like, I especially love those projects, because, you know, bringing it to PC adds a lot of extra things like, um, upscaling for, for the games, mod support, uh, frame rate fixes, like all, all kinds of cool things that just couldn't be supported in the original console releases. I was hoping there would be like something hidden in this little, this little nook right here. Okay, so I don't think it's, it is this one. Well, this one's only got one dude, so we're just going to go ahead and tank this hit. And then it shouldn't be this one. It should be the next one. No, the no next one after this. There we go. Okay, so throw that. Wait for it to blow. And run. <laughs> I'm hoping to get through at least two of them before it deactivates. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. No. Alright, just gotta pray. <laughs> Hopefully this next one's the last one. <laughs> Otherwise we're screwed, dude. Ow. Please let that be the end of it. And please have some rations or something up here. Okay, I don't see any. Right? Yeah, it looks clear. 
Oh, thank God. So at the very least, we made it to the top. But if there's not any rations or anything up here, I don't know if it's going to do us any good. There's some ammo. More stinger missiles. I don't think the stinger missiles are necessarily going to help if I'm dead. That's a ration, right? Those are chaff grenades. Stinger missiles. That's a ration, right? Please? One. <laughs> One single ration. Let's go, boys. <laughs> I wonder if on save and reload if things would respawn. Just in time for some chaff. Yeah, right? Could really have used that a moment ago, game. Minish Cap and Twilight Pr Princess are also being worked on. Iron out bugs and inaccurate uh, currently on Jack 1. Plays better than any emulator. That's awesome. That's one that I actually do want to download and give a try because I own Jack 1 on uh, PS2. So I can, you know, make my own rip for for importing all the models and everything to use with their code. Um, so that's one that I actually have followed a bit and do want to give a try. Um, Ocarina of Time, too, actually. I do have that on N64, so I guess I could do that one as well. Oh, that's weird. Now it'll actually let us use the stinger as well. So, <laughs> we probably don't want to because I imagine we're going to need all of these for, um... Might as well go ahead and use the, the ration. I don't think there's any reason not to. I imagine we're going to need all of the stinger missiles to take out the helicopter, the hind. safe zone please yes that's the door you own the whole franchise i do too actually i well not the whole i own the whole trilogy not the whole franchise franchise because uh there's what like jack frontier or something like that i don't have that one but i do have one two three and jack x All right, uh, I guess maybe throw a save down before we go out there, because otherwise we are screwed. What did it well, I mean, we're probably screwed anyways, even with a save, but at least we have somewhere to reload from. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Jack 3 stays your favorite. From what I've played, I haven't finished 2 or 3, but from what I've played, what Jack 1's my favorite personally. Who'll soon find a way to make his body follow. That's a perfect description of you. You can do it, Snake, but you've got to be flexible. Adapt to each situation uniquely. Lost Frontier's non-existing game and never came out. Are you saying that because you hate the game? Because, <laughs> I mean, my memory, I, I fully admit, is pretty piss poor, but didn't it come out? <laughs> Isn't it technically a game? I'm assuming he's calling you brother because you're his brother. Just throwing that out there. Oh shit, you are a lot lower than I expected. Oh, is that a ration? I think that's a ration. Oh my god, dude. How does this... That didn't work. I'm assuming if I shoot it right here, it's just going to hit that. And then... Damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, I actually hit him. Okay. Uh, grab what I believe to be a ration over here. Yes, thank you. And maybe equip it. Brother. Brother. <laughs> I don't think punching at the helicopter is going to do shit, Snake. Come on, lock on. Please hit. Yes. Alright, I'm assuming every time we hit, we kind of need to run the hell away. <laughs> Alright, now shoot again. 
Things are going surprisingly decently. Lock on, please. Let's go. This isn't nearly as bad as I was expecting, TBH. Get out from behind the building, please. Thank God the radar, like, kind of works through... <laughs> through solid objects here. <laughs> That's the, the best quote from this game, all right? Nope. Can't turn that that hard. Okay, he's going to fire, like, right over here somewhere, right? Nope, he's just going to chill. What's he doing? There we go. Okay, he's coming back around. Let's go, dude. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes ever since Abe Lincoln. Truly awe-inspiring. I think we just got to take our time, man. Just let him come back around and then just repeat what we've done so far. I don't know if it's going to, like, switch it up if he has multiple phases like uh, a lot of the other bosses do or not, but... Come on, lock on. Lock on. Why aren't you locking on? Let's go. Nay, since Newton. <laughs> hey, it's nothing if not... Oh, God shooting. Okay, yeah, he switched his pattern up. It's nothing if not easy to remember, at least. Game, lock on. Please? Is it too far away? Why is it not locking on? Is he jamming? Oh. Oh. I'm assuming we're safe here. Your favorite quote of all time is, I don't know why people think I give a fuck about finches. <laughs> if I oh, God. There's a part of me that seriously wishes that was real. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it's not, but... Seriously, that voice clip is so nice. It's so 90s action B-movie. Like, not even proper B-movie. just Or not even proper action movie. Just, just action B-movie, 100%. Is the helicopter floating, like, right above me? Or am I blind? There he is. Hi! <laughs> Where are you going? I can't tell if he's like right above me or... I can't see him anywhere. There he is. Look, I'm not going to pretend that shooting somebody from a helicopter is easy. But this dude has got to be the worst shot ever <laughs> in this helicopter. Oh, he's going down. That's why I can't see him. Well, at least now I know how to track him. And then he comes up, like, over here somewhere. Nope. Going back around. We took so long, the uh, music stopped. <laughs> Nate, welcome back, man. Coming in strong with uh, some more gambling, of course. Got to keep that gambling addiction in, in full swing. Oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have been talking shit about his uh, helicopter skills. <laughs> I accidentally pressed R1. To shoot, I messed. I meant to press square, and I pressed R one. 
got myself screwed. <laughs> it's fine. We just can't get hit again, that's all. Oh, you were still here, just couldn't message? Are you at work or something? I guess it probably is about time for you uh, to be at work. Damn it, we got hit again. At least it wasn't a death hit, like. There's probably a better way to do this fight, but. You can't shoot me, you can't shoot me. You can't shoot me. Okay, you can shoot me. Just gotta stay hidden. Oh, uh, no, dude. Oh. So close. So close. My favorite quote would be a rat. Wait, what? <laughs> My favorite quote would be, a rat, her lengthy one. A rather length, lengthy one. Okay, <laughs> the word just got split up a little bit. Wow. No language on Earth has a word for how little I care. A quantum supercomputer calculating for a thousand years could not even approach the number of fucks I do not give. That's allowed. That's fine. That can go through. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that message, man. I'm surprised that it grabbed fuck's eye. Of all things. Alright, uh, let's see here. Okay, so we got the stinger equipped. We don't have any rations yet, but there are some out here. So we'll grab those. And then we just gotta do the same thing, but a bit better, that's all. Dodge the shots. Grab those. Run over here. Okay. It's equipped. Come out, come out wherever you are. I don't think I can shoot you there. I'm pretty sure I'll hit this thing in front of me. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Ah, son of a bitch. That was totally on me. That was a bad shot. I wasn't even locked on. I don't know why I pulled the trigger. I don't like this pattern we're getting. I feel like it was a lot better last time around. Nate just chilling with 147,000 points still. How did you hit me from there? Well, <laughs> rip. What's wrong? Snake. Snake. That's my favorite quote of all time right there. My typing. Nowhere, apparently. You know I gotta join that heist, man. Got to get them points in somehow. <laughs> Instantly gambles all but one point. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. The snake came out of his hole. Okay, if we just don't take any hits, we'll be fine, man. Also, actually equip this rash, the ration this time instead of being a dumbass. I want the same pattern of him staying on this side that we got the first time around. Because that one, that was a good pattern, man. I don't know how I got him to do that pattern. Maybe it had something to do with me. Nah. I'll hit that. You could probably do, like, some sort of god-tier shot through all this, this rubbish. <laughs> to hit him when he's over there like that, but... Oh, man. 
How did we do so well the first time? I lost my lock on. There we go. Hey, we all live, dude. Where you at? There you are. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just hoping we don't have a repeat of uh, Stuntman last night, man. We were on one level of Stuntman last night for... God, I don't even want to think how long. It had to have been an hour. Like, it was ridiculous. I just could not make it through the stupid level. He's behind the building. If we get locked on, we should be able to hit him when he comes over here. Excellent. Keep this pattern going. This one's not too bad. Oh, shit. Oh, why did we lose our lock? <laughs> Trying to keep an eye on him over in the radars. So I can get where he can't hit us. Apparently, he could see, like, our shoulder. <laughs> and I'd kill for just a couple more rations right now. nothing over there. I was hoping maybe there was like another hidden ration over there in the corner or something. No luck though. What's he doing? He's coming back. Yeah, but he's shooting. Get off the wall, snake. Good? Good. Oh, okay. Almost halfway there. I'm like, I'm scared to peek out, man. <laughs> I want to peek out and shoot, but at the same time, I'm like, he's going to kill me. Oh, no, he was in his in in vulnerable stage anyways, I guess. I think we're safe right here. Yeah, he just blew up the shit on the other side of the building. Shooting a lot? Holy hell. Shit, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. Lock on, please. Get off the building. <laughs> okay, so he's down low now. Somewhere down here. And he should be coming back up, like, right over here. Oh, shit. I need to find a better spot to stand for the second wave. And then, obviously, just play that first wave a little bit more cleanly. So we're not taking as many hits. But I think that's a pretty good spot to stand for the first wave. It's just, uh, I don't know, we made some dumb plays, took some hits that we really didn't need to take. Oh, okay, that was close. I think we're good to grab the ration now. And then equip it. Can we get a hit in here without taking a hit? No. Then when he comes back around, we're probably... I think he's going to start shooting instantly, basically. So we got to... Yeah, no, he's shooting. Just get out. <laughs> no point in taking a hit. Damn, I hit the building. One thing that I do need to try to do, I think, is get that ammo before it gets blown up.
Okay. He just did a round of shots. Grab the ship, please. And hide. Hide like a scared baby, because that's what we are right now. <laughs> Don't run out there, you dumbass. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on, come on. Yes, dude, let's go. Lock on. And hide. How did you fail to give points to someone? How does that work? Like, you obviously have... Maybe there's only so many points you can give in a day. That'd be weird, but I... Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. This is a good pattern. Can we keep this up, maybe? <laughs> Ways, which way is he going to start going when he shoots? Okay, that way. Back corner. Oh, shit. He's shooting again. He's shooting again. <laughs> Get to cover. He's shooting a lot quicker now. Okay, he dove. He's hiding. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they disconnected or something. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Possibly being uh, AFK or disconnected or something. Wait, are they... Did they start... They must... Must have... Must have started wave two... He down low? Where is he? Oh shit, he's right there. Okay, now it's wave two. That was a long transition from wave one to wave two. I don't know why it took so damn long. How many stinger missiles do we have left? 14? Okay, I feel like we're in a pretty good place. We haven't wasted too many of them. And we did grab that extra five. Nope, he's shooting again. And again. And again. Okay. I think I think that was a hit. I can't really accept right now. <laughs> Not that I'm not willing, but yeah. Oh shit, we got hit. He's gonna start shooting as soon as I peek out. Now he went under. Okay, so he's gonna fly around the building and then pop up on the the left side or Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's going to pop up over here. There he is. So we just got to shoot quick and then GTFO, man. And then just hide until he dives again. It's a hell of a waiting game, but I think that's the only way to, to do it safely. Okay, so he's under. Should be able to lock. Yep. And any moment now. What? 
this nope you're supposed to you're supposed to pop up bro and maybe he's gonna pop up on the left again stay locked on the sound is a little bit annoying <laughs> admittedly and hide we got a pattern that's working let's just keep it going just don't fuck it up dude Hopefully there's no sudden, sudden changes. <laughs> okay, find him. There he is. You gonna pop up on this side now, buddy? Yep. Get off the wall, get off the wall. Okay, went under. I feel like he's getting faster. You popping up? Yep. Oh, let's go, dude. We haven't used our ration yet either, so this may be the one. Assuming there's not like a, a stage three to the fight. Uh, excuse me. I did not expect this. You're switching up your pattern on me. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I need you. I need you to keep your patterns consistent. <laughs> okay, is he going to go under again? Okay. He went under. I can't. I can't find him. There he is. Pop up. Oh, shit. He did hit us. It was only one little hit, but he did hit us. Okay, then we need to move pretty here. Maybe. Nope. He's staying on the other side. Just two or three more hits, bro. Two or three more hits. There he is. What are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is he going to go down? Okay. We're Gucci. Find him. Going back around. What are you doing? Coming up. Looks like a coming up pattern. Yep. Excellent, excellent. What is it, two more? Maybe three more still. Either way, it's getting close. Oh, God. Oh, those shots were so close to us, man. That was scary as shit. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to move so bad, but I was like, if I move, I'm probably going to get hit. And I don't know how much damage he's going to do when he hits us. He's coming all the way over. Nope. Okay, I can't hit him here. Just run. That was a bad placement. Okay, he went down again. Where's he at? Nice, nice. That one was a bit of a surprise, honestly, but we got it. My hands are starting to sweat, I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm nervous AF right now. God, where is he? There he is. Come on. Come on, baby, do something. Or just like crash. That would be <laughs> that would honestly be optimal if you just wanted to uh, if you just wanted to do that real quick. Okay, I can't hit him on this one. Not with where I'm standing. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but Face down. 
There he is. Pop up. Please pop up. Is that it? Or do we have to hit him one more time? Oh god, I think we have to hit him one more time. His health looks like it's gone, but... I don't know where he's at or what he's doing, but I am scared. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's he shooting this time? Did we die? Please tell me we live. Okay, I'm assuming we live since, you know, we're standing there in the cutscene. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. See you in hell. That was tense. It wasn't necessarily hard, but it was tense. Just because we were so close to dying that whole time. Oh, God. And we got a health refill. Thank you, God. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Dealing them points again, man. <laughs> Just can't keep your grubby hands off them, can ya? I don't know why the bot loves you so much. I feel like you disproportionately win the uh, the duels. The other stuff probably just comes down to chance, honestly. Because, I mean, you got a 50-50 shot, so you're going to hit a win streak at some point. If you play enough, and you definitely play enough. But damn, dude, you always win in them duels. <laughs> See, it would be cool, like, uh, mentioned last night that I want to make my own bot eventually. It'd be cool, like, with the duel thing, if you had, like, levels... Or if you could spend your points to buy, I don't know, armor or swords or something to, to give you a better chance in the duel. Maybe have um, like a rock, paper, scissors style system where your chances of winning are increased if uh, you have a sword and they have, I don't know. Or if you have a gun and they have a sword. Um, and then maybe like... Uh, shield beats I don't know man <laughs> something you know you had to put a little bit of thought into the system actually but I feel like you could come up with a, a fun little system I wouldn't want it to be like an instant win sort of deal but it would be fun if there was at least like an increased chance of winning based off of what kind of gear you had versus someone else okay uh we're definitely going to save I imagine there's probably a checkpoint that was put in but what's up snake <laughs> I don't know if I'm trusting that eight ball right now, man. <laughs> Especially with the uh, with the emoji there. Uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Looking a little sus to me, bro. Wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing that the system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds and between the pictures. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true. Why don't you go ahead and try to save what I'm thinking right now? Can't save that type of thing. You have to put into words at least. That's right, and that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first, you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Damn, dude. Game getting deep. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that we finally got that stupid helicopter down, dude. Let's go. That's a... Uh... 
Is that another thing that it skips whenever you do that that speedrun trick that was accidentally discovered? I don't remember. I know it doesn't properly set the flag for it, they were saying, but I don't know if it fully skips it or not. Favorite franchise of yours? Tell me tell me what you've played to them. Mario, um, pretty much all of them except for Galaxy. F-Zero, never played. Uh, Jack and Daxter, I've played all of the... All of them except for Frontier, Legacy, or whatever it's called. Klonoa never played. Spider-Man, um, I've only ever played Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3. Uh, I played one recently, and boy, did it not stand up. Wario Land, I've never played any of them, but I want to. Uh, Gran Turismo, I don't remember exactly which ones I've played. I've played the newest one, Gran Turismo 7, a, a decent bit. Really enjoy it. Um... And then Gran Turismo, was it 3A spec? Something like that. And then uh, one of the ones that was on PS3 I played a shit ton of, but I don't remember which ones. Oh, and Zelda. Yeah, I've played almost all the Zelda games. I haven't beat all of them, but I've played most of them. I mean, okay. <laughs> So we can use the stinger to take them out, but that seems like a bit much. Can I just shoot them with, like, the SOCOM, maybe? Of course, we can't aim down, and auto-aim doesn't seem to work on it. So, PSG-1 it is. Wait, really? It doesn't take them out? I mean, it gave us the tra the chaff grenades, thankfully. Son of a bitch. Okay, just out of curiosity, because now I just want to know. And I'm assuming we won't need the stinger missiles anytime soon. Wait, what? Oh, we just couldn't use the stinger because we were laying down. Does this work on them, at least? Okay, so the stinger does work. We might as well use up the rest of our ammo. For it. If we end up needing it, I'm assuming they're going to give us more. Is it? No, it's the next stairwell. Stinger it is. Stinger it is, man. <laughs> this seems to be the only damn thing that's effective against them. There we go. Bye-bye. I'm surprised you can't just, like, shoot them with your regular gun, though. I wonder... I'm actually gonna... Just out of curiosity. I'm gonna try the, uh, the Nikita, too. See if that works on them. I guess on that last one, I'll try it out. <laughs> God, Nelope, that's terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know if I'd call that a pun, but it's bad. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, uh, Nikita. Oh, it still won't let me use the Nikita. Okay. Well, chaff it is. I'm pretty sure this is the last uh, turret camera anyways, so. Get around that one and we should be good to go. And now the elevator, that's definitely not a trap. 100%. No chance in hell. Just doing your services to the world is all. You're doing a great job at it too, man. Keep it up. <laughs> Oh no, is the elevator just gonna like fall? <laughs> I don't trust this elevator, man. I don't <laughs> I don't wanna go. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna fall and we're gonna die. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. Oh, what? God. There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. So, 
If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went uh, off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? Yep. Uh, Here it is, man. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Called it. <laughs> now die! Um. So we don't have any stun left. <laughs> okay, that didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> oh. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping the claymore would just blow like straight forward leaving us out of the the blast but no no luck i wonder the game probably won't let us but i wonder if we can uh just like toss a grenade into the elevator and be in the be in the clear probably not but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go also um we gotta blow up the thingies again Falling elevators literally stuff with nightmares. Fears many people had such a nightmare in their life. Oh lord, especially from when I was in college, the elevator there was terrible. Like, so bad, man. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's ever died on that thing. It would, half the time, it would be like six inches or more off of the actual floor that it was supposed to stop at. It would be bumpy as hell. Um, one time the, the doors were jammed up so bad that the elevator itself just stopped working <laughs> and people were stuck like halfway to the floor they were supposed to be. Like, it's just, it was not a good elevator, man. They, they ended up getting it serviced so that didn't happen anymore. That way it would at least meet code and could keep being used. But yeah, the elevator at my college was, was not, not a fun time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Surprised I never had nightmares about that thing. Other than that, though, I'm not, I don't particularly uh, worry about elevators. Obviously, if it did happen, I would be scared shitless, but, like, I don't generally worry about it, though. I know uh, Mr. Noodle, my, my girlfriend, she has a, a fear of elevators for sure. And uh, her sister... Oh, no, wait. She has a fear of escalators, not elevators. Sorry. Personally, I would be more scared of elevators than escalators, though. I think she's a little bit weird. Hey, speaking of the devil, thank you, Mr. Noodle. Appreciate the five bits, love. All right, so before we do all the BS again, we're going to save. That way, if we die, which is likely to happen, um, we won't have to at least run all the way back down again. Your sister's the one who doesn't like elevators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually get the escalator? Like, you actually understand the fear of it, or you take the escalator? Because uh, I I much prefer uh, uh, escalators to, to elevators, honestly. Escalators are much worse. They can literally eat you alive if you get what I mean. I don't, I don't want to be eaten. I don't think they're that bad, man. I don't know. Like, I'm sure accidents have happened. <laughs> they want to suck you in. <laughs> God. Oh my Sneak lord. In China, they say. You guys are crazy, man. Patch, don't adjust your sandals. Like, that I don't know, if your hair got stuck into it or something, yeah, that would be really bad. But like, Keep if it's just the, the, the leg of your okay. pants or your uh or your uh shoelaces or something like that, like you could just take off your pants or I'm pretty sure it would rip your shoelaces before it started sucking you into it, you know what I mean? Like what about my Jinkoji? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh. I've seen videos. I want to forget them. I like. I, I don't know, man. Like I said, I can imagine your hair getting stuck into it or something would be a real bad time, but... I 
I'm starting to think there's not actually people in here, guys. <laughs> Unless those invisibility cloaks also make you invincible. It's funny, playing through Metal Gear Solid 1, as well as what, or I'm sorry, Metal Gear 1, as well as uh, watching some of the speedruns of it being played, it's amazing how many things... <laughs> um they put in this game from those games like this elevator sequence is similar not exactly the same but very similar to a uh sequence in i think it was the second one it may have been exclusive to the to the msx version i don't know but but anyways we're on an elevator getting There's ambushed by guys and whatnot tell you before. what there were five to make you feel off balance, not fear of being escal escalator food. Yeah, okay. So if you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey. Falling into the mechanics right under the escalator class. we're riding, I you get shredded to pieces. Yeah. So I, I mean, that would definitely be bad, but yeah. the are the chances of an escalator missing. collapsing that much also, worse than the chance of an elevator falling? Out. You know what I mean? Really like, strange. I don't know. I think it's weird to be scared of one and not the other. That's all. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe just try beating people? Ow. You know what? This would... Oh, no. Never mind. I was going to say this might be a good time for a Claymore, but... Actually, I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think there is a good time for a Claymore in an elevator. Can one of you guys just die, maybe? That would that'd much be preferable to what's going on here right now. Oh my god, we're gonna die. When I said one of you guys die, I didn't mean me, okay? Just to be clear. <laughs> Damn, dude. I guess maybe maybe guns are the way to go here. Damn. Huh. All right. <laughs> it's been another hour, so the ad manager is going to make me run another ad. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break before it uh, starts in the middle of gameplay. And then when we come back, I guess maybe guns are the way to go. It'd be really nice if we had a way of like damaging people on the ground. Or something, maybe some stun grenades? I don't know. Um, can we load a game from Mei Ling, or can we only save a game? You caught Snake? Do Talk not save. Later, Snake. Well, that's not very helpful, Mei Ling. I mean, I guess we could hit the restart button on the PlayStation 1 Mini, which is probably what I'll do while we're at break. So, <laughs> BRB, guys. Very cool. That's all I really need to know. There's a small road to the south of this house where you'll find a variety of stores. Perhaps you'd like to visit them? Sure. Why not? Can we go now or... Okay, yeah, it looks like we can. Oh, maybe not. Oh. I saw your fight earlier. There's a great amount of power asleep within you. We're talking to a stone. That's cool. <laughs> Unleash that power and confront the situation before you. So we have like a hidden power or whatever. Kind of standard for this sort of game, I feel like. Welcome, this is the world that extends within me. I shall teach you the art of using the Amahagane so that you will be equipped to handle upcoming difficulties. Power, that is Kamoi. By unleashing the power accumulated within the Amahagane, you, will, you can see through your enemy's attacks and find the precise timing for a counterattack. Now defeat the warriors in front of you by using Kamoi. When that is shining at the upper left side of the screen, it's possible to generate the enemies that react to Kamoi will close in on you to attack. Square will be shown near the foot of Yoshi. Uh, I'm just going to call him Yoshi. Of Yoshi in sync with the enemy's attack. Press square to attack. If successful, you are able to counterattack effectively against enemy attacks. Very cool. When you are ready, press the L1 button. Okay, so now we're in the, the special mode or whatever. Ah, that's cool. So we can do like uh, 
parries counterattacks. Very cool. And I'm assuming that does like extra damage and whatnot too, since all those guys went down in one hit. Although that may have just been because of uh, the little tutorial section thing that we're in, who knows. By using Kamuai, you can see through your opponent's attacks and deliver an effective counterattack. You shall obtain even greater divine protection if you defeat your foe. Use the power of Kamuai to overcome situations where you are faced with a strong enemy or when you are surrounded by many foes. Just remember, it cannot be used at all times. You can only harness the power when you have accumulated enough energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You choose carefully when to use it and use it to help complete your mission and the tutorial and return to the normal world. Yes, please. I think we understand for the most part. Okay, so now we have a little bit of control over where we're going, huh? So we have the main road. We have the Gojo. Or we have the the hut we were just in. Let's go back to the hut. Let's talk to the dude and whatnot before we leave in case like he actually tells us anything interesting. I was thinking we could just literally walk down there, but no, it doesn't appear like we can. Okay. Would you like to save? Oh, he just lets us save at any point? Okay. Well, I guess that was kind of pointless then. <laughs> no reason to really come back to him then, but oh well. Too late now. We'll leave again. And then just go down the main road. The main road, I'm guessing, is where all the shops and whatnot are that she was telling us about. It's got an exclamation point on it, so... Something important is going to happen here, I feel. Hey, lots of people playing. Very pretty world. I would love to see this world remade in a modern engine. Because while it looks nice, everything's very, you know, jaggedy, grainy. There's You just lose a lot of detail in it. But uh, the design, I feel like, is very nice. Come take a look. You've got great deals. Everything you need. How about it, sir? What can I get you? We have 331. I don't know what the currency would be called. I don't know if it was yen. But welcome. What can I do for you today? Buy. What do you sell? You sell some herbs. Some talisman of resurrection. So if we die, we come back. Yep. Stone of strength. Bestows its wear additional attack power. So that's something we can equip, I feel. And additional defense power. Very cool. We can also sell you the crap that we pick up for... Some amount of money. It doesn't seem to tell us how much money. Hello, hello. I'm back. Uh, for the VOD. Not a bad idea, honestly. The only uh, thing... I mean, I guess I could just start picking a, a VOD to play. Um, I usually... Uh, how it normally works, I just have all of my VODs saved on my media server. So then I just let it randomly pick one for me. But um, that's a good idea, though. Because, I mean, how the hell else are people going to know what it is, I guess, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's actually a really good point. So, yeah. I'll try to do that in the future. Excellent idea. Thank you. Breath of the Wild is currently getting depiled. Imagine a PC port of that. That sounds sick, dude. That would be awesome. Especially, like, the mods and stuff that you could do for that. And the uh, performance enhancements would be sick as well. I've heard that uh, it runs better in the Switch emulator than it does, like, actually playing it on a Switch, which is just terrible. Uh, sadly, the save point that we made, by the way, does not actually save here. It saves at the last checkpoint. So, fuck. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to go back down each time. Or, since I am playing on the PlayStation 1 Mini, we can hit this button. And... Yes. There we go. <laughs> and then we can just load from the uh, from the, the save there. Um, I did have one other idea. Actually, I had two ideas of what we might be able to do here. I don't know if either one's going to work, but I'm going to try it out. My first idea was they gave us these chaff grenades. Maybe, you know, since the suits are, are electrical in nature, maybe a chaff grenade is a way to deal with them beforehand. No. Okay. Um... So the next idea that I had, the claymores were bad when I used them before, but maybe if I take a page out of the MSX or whatever version it was game, what they did was they put grenade or they put mines down. Shit, it won't let me. They know. They know the trick. Because <laughs> what they did, they knew exactly where things were going to spawn in at. 
So they just put a bunch of mines down before the thing spawned and dealt with them all there in that uh, speed run that I was watching. So I was hoping we could do that here, but obviously the developers thought of that, so that's a no-go. Well, in that case, uh, FAMAS, <laughs> I guess we'll just do some shooty-shoot and hope for the best. Mario 64 got a native port for the PlayStation Mini, by the way. Uh, didn't it also get a native port for the PS2? Maybe it was PS1, but regardless. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. I'm what? pretty sure I heard of a project where somebody was doing that, and it was in beta in stage. Yeah. Like, working, but with, with bugs. Which is, again, just, late, just fun. Yeah, like... <laughs> Keep shooting, just keep shooting. <laughs> just shooting and hoping for the best, man. No, Snake, turn around, dude. <laughs> snake! Oh my god. The aiming on this game is so bad, man. Oh, dude, a ration! Uh, da 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 da. Please and thank you, game. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but. I'm not going to complain either. So it seems like each guy that dies drops something. Okay, FAMAS was definitely the way to go. Let's go, dude. And more FAMAS bullets. Beautiful. It's for the PS2. I'm going to have to give that a try one of these days just for shits and giggles. Um, I probably won't stream it just because Nintendo likes to be Nintendo uh, but <laughs> if I do uh, give it a try I'll make sure to let everyone know how it goes because yeah I just think that'd be fun playing Super Mario 64 on the PS2 um very dark in here is the game meant to be this dark actual question because I could do Not that. Yeah, that didn't seem to change anything. Um, okay, that seemed to brighten it up a little bit, actually. And then... That didn't seem to do anything. That made it a little more green. I'll just leave that on default, I guess. It's a tiny bit brighter, at least. I would love if our radar would be working again, but I guess that's asking too much. PS1 is not able to play this game. You have to optimize it to a ridiculous degree. Wait, do you mean Super Mario 64? Not able to play that game? Because, I mean, the PS1 plays this game. <laughs> this is a PS1 game. <laughs> I thought I heard a turret or something somewhere. Hence why I was being so careful going around the corners, but... Huh. Maybe we're good. Okay. Uh... So there's... Of course, I'm talking about Super Mario 64. I figured you were, but <laughs> when you said this, it threw me off just a little bit. Okay, I'm either missing a door somewhere or we have to blow something up. I'm missing a door. The one right there. Go ahead and use a ration real quick and then card. I was also amazed how similar... Oh, God. Glad I saw the camera. Uh, I was also surprised just how similar Metal Gear is to Metal Gear Solid. Like... They're obviously their own unique games, but they're they're very similar to each other at the same time. The one optimization that they made that I'm really freaking happy about, though, is the keycard thing. The fact that the keycards actually update as you go along instead of... Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't actually equip the keycard. Um, instead of having to memorize which one you need at any given time. In Metal Gear Solid here, it's not too bad because as you get deeper... The, the key card levels just kind of increase as you go along. 
but in Metal Gear, the first one, it's not uncommon. You can't see this far, can you? No, okay. It's not uncommon for them to mix it up. Like, the, the last third of the game may end up being key card one. Or, or two or whatever, you know, instead of key card six, seven, or eight. So it's really weird. Okay, run forward. The problem with being a box, I guess, is I can't really see where the camera is. Okay, we're, we're good. Now just run. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I should have looked down the hallway. I was going to look down the hallway, but I was like, oh, I doubt they'd put more right there at the end, you know? We should be safe. Nope. Oh, I should have known better. Oh, well. Um, Are there dogs here? Maybe we should equip the handkerchief. Are they wolves or dogs? Because... Dogs? There's a sniper. Shit. <laughs> Snake, are you okay? Otacon. Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. I don't have the rations for this. You sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you. I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf. No, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. God damn it. Do you know what that <laughs> is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf. Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Okay, um... So I'm guessing best thing to do here is just run. <laughs> I'm hoping she can't hit me behind this tree. Can we hide behind this? No. We probably don't need the handkerchief, but what I could really use is some more <laughs> rations. Those are bullets. Rations. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. PS1 doesn't have enough RAM to load in all the assets during a level. Yeah, I remember hearing a lot about that for the development of... Uh... Oh, God, I saw her thing. Um, for the development of Crash Bandicoot, that was like a big thing they had to overcome. And uh, they pioneered some of the techniques that are used to this day for, like, loading in chunks of level on the fly. Uh, but there's also that one guy that's working on a super optimized version of Super Mario 64. Um, he's releasing it along with, like, a mod or something like that. And he was able to get... Now, granted, he's working on it for the N64, so I don't know how much of that would translate to the PlayStation 1. But I feel like if someone was dedicated enough, they could probably get it to work. All right, um, so what's our move here? I guess PGS1, PSG1, sorry. Because uh, we're going to have to fight the, the chick. Uh, 
problem is she can like spot us anywhere pretty quickly. And I don't even know where she's at. I mean, I can kind of use the, the laser to help me get an idea of where she is. Like, she seems to be over here somewhere. Okay, I can't see her, though. Do I just have to go for it? Like, just run? Damn it. Okay, you know what? Diazepam? Uh, no, don't unequip the rations. <laughs> Just take some diazepam. Re equip the rations. Ow. Shit, dude. Actually, I guess just go ahead and take the ration. No reason not to. It'd be really nice if we were facing the right direction. I hear her shooting, but I don't see her anywhere. Can we do this boss with no killing? Damn it, dude. As soon as I saw her. Did she go back behind the tree? Or did she run? No, she must have ran. Okay. Next idea. Run for it. <laughs> nope. Okay. We're not allowed to run for it. If we try, we just instantly get shot. Come on. Move faster, please. Fucking hit her! <laughs> for fuck's sakes, game. Did she go behind the tree or did she go somewhere else? I really wish we could aim faster. She's shooting at us wherever she is. Oh, she's back on the right. There she is. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Well, we know what we're doing at least now. I mean, we knew we were going to have to have a snipe out or whatever the hell you want to call it, but I didn't realize that I was going to have to... Like, that I couldn't run forward or anything like that. All right. Um, so I wonder if it's possible to find her before we run up and trigger the cutscene. I'm assuming probably not, because the cutscene's probably the trigger for, for starting this whole encounter. Yes. Yeah, there is no option to, to stand and snipe or anything like that. As soon as you equip the sniper rifle, it uh, instantly lays you down. I wish you could, uh, like, stay on your, like, just crouched or whatever. It would probably be much easier to rotate, at least. <laughs> but, yeah. That's a no-go. Okay. Cutscene. Breaks over, and your phone's dying, and you have to go stock milk. Snake, okay. Are you okay? Fine. <laughs> Love you, Were too. There any other stealth... Played it once to fulfill a metric gear solid. <laughs> uh, it's metric gear solid. What the hell? Hey, five more bits before you go. Appreciate it, love. Thank you.
I don't know what side she's on right now. I'm I'm guessing the right side. Hopefully she hasn't found us yet. I hear her shot. That's not a good sign. There she is. Uh, no. I just wanted to take that as a Pam. Okay, it was just a, a leg shot, but I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. God, she's quick. Thankfully, it seems like uh, her aim's not as good here as it was up on the, the platform. What? No, I hit her. Cheap ass son of a bitch. Lean out. Okay, I'm assuming she's going to come back to the right. Shit, I don't know that, though. Nope. Oh, you actually helped me, lady. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you can use the laser roughly to figure out which, which side she's on, at least. You're right about that. Yeah, so now, like, I know that she's over here on the left side somewhere. Probably looking too far left, though. There she is. Okay, more Diaz. Oh, I only have one Diaz of Pam left. Unfortunately, the it's wearing off, though, so I'm going to have to take more. I wish there was more available to take. <laughs> that would be a huge help, honestly. And it seems like it's actually impossible to hit her behind the tree, even if you have a, a good shot on her arm. Come on, pop out before my Dazepam wears off. Damn it. Oh shit, I unequipped the rations at some point. You know what, she's gonna shoot soon, so just get up and run. Laser me? Might as well take the ration. Okay, left side. Too far left, I think. Move faster, please. There she is. Crotch shot. <laughs> oh my god, we're out of diazepam. Just, oh my god. Please, just... No, just pop out. Stop running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much control over the freaking gun here. Come on. Do something, lady. Oh, come on. That hand shot wasn't enough to take you down. <laughs> I wonder if you can hit her while she's running. It would, you would have to have a really good shot, but or be a really good shot, but I wonder if it's possible. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't hit her. Okay, more to the left. Oh, she's shooting quick. There she is, I saw her. Behind two trees now, huh? God, I would kill for some diazepam. That would make this all so much easier. Snake, just hold your freaking breath for a moment. Thank you. <laughs> Wasted so many shots, but we got her. Oh... Oh, and we got a health refill? A uh, partial one, not a full one. I will take it. Call me weird, but you've wondered for many years how good Jack 3 would look on the Wii? I don't know. I mean, the Wii is basically just a souped-up GameCube. Um, but the GameCube did have better rendering power than the, uh, the PS2, if I'm not mistaken, right? So it would probably look similar to, like, a slightly upscaled version of, of Jack. 
three. I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know. But like you said, maybe sometime in the near future that'll be answered. I waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. What? I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A card. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield, raised on a battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, God. I watched the brutality, <laughs> the stupidity uh. of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I, I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. like you. You're a hero. Please set me free. I wish there was the option in this game to do the no kill runs like there is in the later one. Why? Why? I love you. What 
is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. <laughs> me too, Otacon. Me too. Damn, bro. Pretty heartfelt scene. Just surviving that lung shot pretty long, yeah. Snake. Talking pretty decent too, all things considered. On the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> God damn it, Snake. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll be searching too. I do agree completely with you guys, though. The voice acting in this game is amazing, especially for the time. Uh, I always compare it to Resident Evil 1, you know, where the, <laughs> the voice acting was so cheesy that it <laughs> kind of helped make the game. Like, it was so bad. Um, but yeah, the... Hideo Kojima, man, love him or hate him, the dude knows how to write a story at least, or, or present a story. I don't know how much of the actual writing he does. I know a lot of his inspiration was, uh, like, action movies and things, and uh, it, it shows for sure. Alright, so we have a lot of places that it seems like we can go to now. Um, how much time do we have left? We still have, like, 15-ish minutes. How long, Chocobo, if you remember, how long is there left in the game? I'm curious, uh, this coming Wednesday, I believe, the 24th, yeah, um, the 24th, Noodle and I are going out, so I won't be able to stream on that day. I'm going to do a short stream on Monday of Metal Gear, uh, solid, assuming that in doing so I wouldn't, like, I don't know, break the pacing of the game. Oh, so is this where I can do, like, the fast travel stuff out using the boxes, I'm assuming? Anyway, so if, if anyone knows roughly how long is left in the game, I would appreciate, uh, being told. Um, okay, we're gonna search these rooms real quick. Present is a good word. Look at Death Stranding. I actually haven't played Death Stranding yet. It's another one of the, the many that is on my list of games that I want to play, but I haven't gotten around to probably three to four hours left okay so if we play like two-ish hours on monday then we would probably have like two ish hours left for for the following week that's not too bad i hate finishing games early but it's gonna happen like there's no <laughs> there's no way to really avoid it uh how many chavs do we have I didn't, I didn't mean to lay down, Snake. Get up. <laughs> I 
So we'll probably go ahead and do that then. We'll probably uh, play a bit on Monday and then play more on or finish it up on Wednesday. Which reminds me, I'm going to go ahead and make the next poll for the, the next day, uh, next game that we want to complete. Uh, I'll post it up on Discord first, and then I'll uh, share it and stream after that. And of course, it'll be on the, the link tree as well. So that if, uh, if people want to vote on the next game that we complete, I will, uh, or we'll be able to do that. We could probably have gotten in there without using the chaff, but it makes it so much easier. Couple rations, very nice. Cardboard box C to get back here quickly. Okay, there's one camera in this one. It looks like just ammo to pick up, which, I mean, we're not like desperate for. Oh shit, you can see me out here? <laughs> I thought we'd be safe outside the door. Okay, we'll open the door then and then go in the cardboard box. Oh, Nikita missiles. Oh shit, don't move. Well, since the game is giving us Nikita missiles, I'm assuming we're going to end up needing them here soon. In some capacity. Honestly, since it's just the, the ones that shoot at you, it's not that bad. Because um, they don't trigger the alarm or anything, so it's not that big of a deal. And then, I think it was this one that's full of mines. Oh, that's a level 7 door, so we can't actually get in that one. Maybe it was this one... Pull out the, the mine detector real quick. Yes, it's this one. Okay, so we want to lay down. And pick up the claymores that way. Thank you, thank you. Refill on claymores and diazepam. There we go. Could have really used that a little bit ago. I appreciate the refill on everything that the game's giving us at this point. This seems suspicious. <laughs> Nothing in here? I mean, there's, there's stuff. Are there lasers? It, I mean, normally there's like a panel on the wall or something to kind of give it away, but... No, just, just nothing, really? Okay. Unequip the smokes before we, uh, die. <laughs> Get my card back. Thank you. I think there was one more room, right? Okay, a couple cameras. Uh, looks like another good use for a chaff. It'd probably be possible to get around them with some really good movement, but... Oh, look. We got a refill on chaff grenades anyways. Not a complete one, but enough. Wait, how do I only have... How do we only have half our gren... Or eight grenades? Didn't we just pick up, like, a shit ton in there? Or was each one only, like... I'm confused. Maybe it was a mix of chaff grenades and, like, regular grenades or something. Hope your last message came through. Uh, Hideo Kojima has some damn creepy mind, and he used it in the best way imaginable. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I remember seeing the trailers for Death Stranding when it first came out and being really interested in it at that point in time. Um, but then, like, whenever it actually came out, some of the reviews on it weren't amazing, so it was a little iffy. On, on picking it up right away, uh, but I don't know. I, I still do really want to experience it, really want to play it, and I definitely am going to at some point. I'll probably pick up the... It got a PC port, right? I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that correctly. So I'll probably pick it up on uh, on PC, honestly. So that is my main gaming platform of choice, plus hopefully, fingers crossed, my Steam Deck pre-order will come through soon enough, and uh, at that point, I'll be able to play it on the go, which would be... Sick. Well, assuming that's one of the games that works on the Steam Deck. I guess I didn't actually I'll look that up, but...
Gameplay is not the gold is the gold, but the story is. Yeah, I mean that's that's been clear from all of the Metal Gear games so far. Wait. I was gonna say we're we're sp okay. Get out of the box and throw a grenade, damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. Hideo Kojima, you know, yeah. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I'm assuming this is going to be a checkpoint. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right. This is a two-disc game, isn't it? So this is probably telling us to switch the disc. Which, on the PlayStation Mini... I think we just do that. Yes? Okay, cool. I've never actually uh, played a two-disc game on the PlayStation Mini, so I wasn't sure how that worked. Alright, uh, seems like a good time for a save. We still have a little bit longer, but I am going to save just so... I mean, the game has a pretty generous checkpoint system, but still. Pretty good place to tuck in for the day? Yeah. I don't think there's going to be much more that happens. I mean, I'm gonna try. I can't. I can't guarantee anything, Mei Ling. Oh, we're out of save space. Starting back at the top, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea, like, what's about to go down. Honestly, though, just like story-wise, it does feel like a pretty good place to call it, doesn't it? I think we are going to, actually. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to, like, get too deep into more story stuff and then not want to quit or just be like, bruh, you know? <laughs> so, honestly, I do think that's a pretty good spot to, to call it for the night. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it, all of you. Uh, as I mentioned, I mean, that's fine. You can see us. We saved. Um... As I mentioned, we are going to be skipping the next Wednesday one, but we're going to be playing a little bit on Monday, probably just like two-ish hours, because um, Mondays are normally my day, the only day that I actually have off from like my, my real job and Twitch and all that BS. Um, so I don't want to like completely fill it up with Metal Gear, but I also want to play more Metal Gear. <laughs> so we'll be back Monday for a couple hours of that. In the meantime, we're still doing the PS2 stuff. So tomorrow and Friday night both, we'll be playing some random PS2 games, just trying them out. Not sure what exactly. We'll find out when we get there. I need to update my public facing list of uh, games I have at some point. Actually, I'll try to remember to do that once we end the stream here. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves and I hope to see you again then. Ha and make the poll. Yes, make the poll for the next game. I will do that as well. Um, actually, I'm going to load up straw poll right now. That way I don't forget to do so. <laughs> Anyways, though, yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Oh, weapons and crap, too. Which, yeah. Very cool. I'm going to keep the unsigned sword. I don't know.